Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now it since uh, I just finished building this guy, now it's actually time to do the review. Uh, so uh, here's all the parts that uh, make up the high new Gundam Brave. Uh, I did do some panel lining and I did put the uh, decals on beforehand uh, just so it's easier to look at when it's all finished and ready to go. So um, let's get this guy. Let's first look at the articulation of some of the pieces and first. So the leg. Uh, you actually get a quite a nice uh, articulation uh, knee, knee bend right there. Almost it's, I guess, a, I would say a good 120 bend, uh, 120 degrees on that. Uh, you got a heel tilt, uh, heel twist, you can go in any direction. Front, back. Uh, there is no, uh, the leg itself doesn't twist at all on top. It's actually, it's actually stiff. On the arm, uh, you got a shoulder joint right here, bicep swivel, 360, okay, uh, and then you have an arm that goes a little bit more than 90 degrees, so nothing too spectacular there. Uh, you got a wrist swivel, and that's pretty much it about this. Uh, about the arms, nothing too special. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more uh, articulation, but hey, it's a uh, uh, high grade, so nothing too crazy. On the wing, there is some articulation. You got this going up and down. Actually, it would be great if actually it was in shot going up and down. Uh, it doesn't have a 360 degree motion because of these parts right here, but. Uh, you see, you got a little wiggle right there. Okay. Um, and then it goes up, up and down. Quite a huge motion right there, so that's great. Uh, only this one, this guy pops off, and he has no range of motion. Uh, these open to reveal the uh, beam saber in there, which is really cool. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much our articulation for these guys. Uh, nothing. This is actually like the dragon head for it. No articulation here. Sides for his mouth. Going. Uh, so, yeah. And then for the head, there's only a ball joint at the moment. So uh, let me let me get a nice zoom in on the detail on this guy. It's a really cool. The head, the face looks really good. I really like how they did it. Um, the articulation on the head, uh, you get a little bit. You can go that far, and then it can go that far. You can he can look up just a little bit, not too much. See, that's him looking down. That's him looking up again. Uh, these actually do move in and out a little bit. Nothing too major. So, and that's pretty much it for the back articulation. All this is actually for the thrusters and for the backpack. So let's get this guy together and uh, see what we, he looks like. Okay. I'm actually going to put on the waist first. Let me actually zoom out a little bit. There you go. Is that focusing? Ah, it was better on the other side. There you go. Okay, uh, here's the waist swivel. Gets a little bit... Uh, he gets pushed up a little bit, just a little bit though. So. And then these legs go on. Right here, just a simple ball joint. They, got, they snap into place there. Uh, 
There we go. Now the side skirts, they go on this, uh, oops. They go on this poly cap right here. They, the side skirts don't do anything uh, special. They just go um, up and down, up, down, and that's it. The next one right here. There you go, push that in. Uh, looking good so far. Let's zoom that back out, get a better look at them. Okay, once I asked, why won't it focus? I gotta see on my camera on how I can get this better to focus. But there you go, that's what he has. Uh, put his arm on. There you go. Simple poly cap and joint. There he is, and <laughs> you can't really see him. That's a thing. Let's move this up a little bit and uh, check him out. Sit there. I think he looks pretty awesome, actually, uh, in without the backpack. And actually, I do like the, once he's all together. I do like the, the colors better on him. I did have. I was going to paint him uh, beforehand, but then I decided not to. So, uh, let's get this backpack on him, shall we? Let me just double check to make sure I'm putting the back on, on correctly. So. Twist this that way. And that to these guys, I'm gonna go into these holes right here. So, okay, let's see. Oh, that goes on this side because it's angled outwards. There you go. They kind of clip in. Uh, they do have a turning motion, so kind of getting the. Uh, the Suit kind of gets in the way, but there we go. Two back wings right there. This goes right here into this, uh, the middle slot right here. Like floating. And then his wings go into these uh, sockets right here. There we go. Now, it shows on the manual that you can actually put the shield on the back as well, which is actually quite cool. There we go. Now, the wife was telling me that he actually uh, reminds her of Strike Freedom. Uh, with the wind because of how the wings are set and him being like this with those wings he's kind of back here so you gotta lean him forward just a tiny bit so let's see if I can get him in full frame there we go so He looks really cool, all finished and everything. 
Uh, let's see what it looks like when he actually has his uh, short s sword and shield on. And, you know, I was about to say sword. Sword, sword. Okay. Well, this goes. Put this up. And then. Oh. Um, sorry. There's a thing right here back on the back of the arm. That's where the shield goes in. There's a peg right here. Slip that on. Move his arm down. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. And actually, that thing holds. Usually, shields on HGs do not hold well. Especially if uh, your name is Axia. So, that's there. And then we pop this arm off. On the arm. This hand off. And then I'll put this one with the gun on. And there you have it. Uh, all finished and ready to go. Here it pretty much here he is in all his glory. Um, he looks really really nicely done I think uh, and I again I am glad Ash I did not paint this guy because uh, of all the extra detail on him and actually how he puts it together it's very cool kit and I really enjoyed how the legs are put together the how the feet actually are different everything about him is slightly different than you would think a normal HD would be so would I get this kit again uh, I'd say definitely yes, um, and it's an awesome kit, it has lots of actually uh, new things that normal HGs don't do, that they, it does differently, like the legs are actually put together a different way, as you saw, the feet are different, the shield is really awesome, it actually hangs on and works, the gun is actually pretty cool looking, as you can see I actually customized it slightly myself. Uh, the wing, how they did those, they actually stay on. He is slightly back heavy because <laughs> all the stuff that he has on the back. But uh, still a great kit, and I'm glad I got all the extra pieces that were coming in Gundam Ace and in um, Hobby Life Magazine, or Hobby Japan Magazine. So uh, I will be putting those together, but that's diff for a different review. Uh, so again definitely pick this guy up if you can and uh yeah uh don't forget to like the video share it with your friends and subscribe so you can get more videos and reviews uh so until next time guys keep building and keep playing